what's happening, brother Brian? Back at you. Like, right now. I mean, dude, who would thought a video would come out this quick? Just put one out the other day. Today's video, I got to talk to you guys about my good friend Rachel over there. Rachel's ghost. Uh, I need to talk to her. Mono, e mono to Rachel. We got to, I got to, as a friend, I don't, I don't know how many good friends she's got over there. So I'm going to extend the olive branch of kindness and I'm going to help my friend out because that's what you do. You're supposed to help your friends out. Especially if you're the czar of the vital community, like I am the czar of the vital community. Rachel, let me talk to you for a second here. You know, a while back, probably like a year or so ago, I don't know when. You know the date probably better than I do. When all this stuff happened to you. You know, Rachel, unlike, you know, me and Rachel, we're like kindred spirits. Our channels are always attacked. You know, they're always, you know, being under the fiery prod of Satan. And, uh, you know, but she's always been so kind and, and courteous. She she used to have this guy on there. I don't know what his name is. The guy was, uh, he was like handicapped. And you don't ever make fun of handicapped people, okay? You know, somebody's got some type of disability, you know, you just got to deal with it, you know, because they can't help it. It's a it's a disability. You don't make fun of, you know, handicapped people. And uh, Rachel used to have this guy on her channel. And he was handicapped, you know. You know, he'd be over there coloring pictures with coloring books and putting puzzles together and stuff. And Rachel would let him, she was just so kind to this guy. You know, she would let him do all these things on her stream. He'd be sitting there showing puppets and, and, and marionettes and stuff on there. And Rachel would let him. You know, it was taking a toll on Rachel's channel. You know, it really was. It was taking a toll. Nobody wanted to see somebody put a puzzle together. But yet, Rachel, out of the kindness of her heart, she would let this guy come on there and put puzzles together and stuff. Right? And all the while, you know, I'm very intellectual. It may not, you know, may not realize that. I'm a fucking intellectual. I can, I'm very good at psychology. I can look right through people, you know? And uh, I just knew, I just knew that, you know, it was kind of bothering Rachel, you know? She's, she was stuck between a rock and a hard place. She, you know, this this guy was hindering her channel, putting puzzles together, and you know, and marionettes, and you know, and things like that. And she didn't know what to do. She was stuck. And then one night, I guess you know, Rachel, she drinks a little bit. You know, and I'm not drinking. I'm almost 15 months sober now. You know, I'm drinking a little bit of tea here in a green glass. But uh. But I'd say, you know, Rachel, she's entitled to drink and unwind and enjoy life. There's nothing wrong with that if you can control yourself, you know, and, you know, if you can control yourself. <laughs> but anyway, I guess she was on a live stream, and I can just caught this on the aftermath. She could fill you in on all the details about the situation. But she's over there, and they're having this political talk, you know? And it's just, that's, the, politics on this stuff, man, it's just like, you're looking for trouble, you know? So they're over there talking politics, is what I understand. Well, and Rachel didn't agree with their political persuasion or what they were saying or whatever, I don't know. So, something happened, I don't know. So I, I caught the tail end of it. The next day, Rachel comes on to the live stream. Somebody sent me the video, okay? I didn't watch it. Somebody actually sent me the video. That's just what, what people do in the in the vinyl community. And that's cool. It's just what people do. It's what they do, you know? So somebody sent me a video of this, right? And this guy comes on there that she's been nothing but kind and courteous to this guy. Put up with this guy for a long time. This guy's hindered her channel. 
and he comes on that morning and he starts telling her well, first thing he says, he's like, you know, I just want to let you know that we didn't appreciate your opinions. And, and he starts saying these things, right? And I knew, I knew right then and there, I said, this is Rachel's opportunity. <laughs> this is, because she's been wanting to know, wanting to, wanting to know how to do this without, you know, looking like a horrible person, you know, having this handicapped guy and this, that, and the other. And this guy gave her the perfect opportunity and immediately he was gone. Rachel says, hasta la vista, baby. You're out of here. Very smart on her part. You know, because she didn't, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinions whether you like them or not, you know? But this was her live stream and he comes over there and starts trying to tell her what she needs to think and do and all this stuff and perfect opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, this is where we get serious, okay? So, back in December, I stopped in at Rachel's channel, okay? I don't stop in there very often, you know, just because I've given them a break from Brother Brian, you know? So there's so much of this wonderful guy that you could hear. Don't mind Daisy. She's been cooped up in the house all day. She's barking. That's what dogs do. So in December, I stopped in there, and I was told them, you know, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and all this stuff, you know. And, of course, you know, there's the wax, you know. So I was just like, oh, Lord, look at this guy. If it ain't another pimple on Rachel's ass, you know. So I could, you know, so I said, hey, I'm, I want to see, uh, I want to see the wax, this latest Funko Pop, and maybe he can auction a record while he's at it. Man, he got mad, starts cussing me out. Bro, I mean, just cussing me up one side and down the other. And then Rachel, she's like, yeah, me and Brian, we're cool, you know. We're like, yeah, we had our thing, and, you know, it's in the past. You know, Rachel's always been good to me, you know, even when I was raging alcoholic. And she's trying to defend me, and they're just, you know, it's the more she defends me, the more they hate her, you know, telling her how to, you know, you need to, you know, it's just more of this fucking, uh, Bullshit. But, you know, I mean, really, it was hard for her to defend because, you know, Brother Brian, you know, <laughs> you know, I am, I am what I am. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is, you know, Brother Brian, you know. <laughs> so she just finally gave up. And I was just like, well, whatever. You know, I did my part. I wished them all a happy new year. And, you know, I was kind and courteous. And, you know, it has been December, okay, he's got January, February, so here we are in March, so I, I was like, you know, I'm going to swing into Rachel's today, and see what's going on again, right? So I turned it on, and Rachel's so excited about, she had just got some compilation CDs, right? They got all this, like, a blues and jazz and stuff. I don't know. She can fill you in on the details. But she got these compilation CDs. And, and then it's like the wax is, like, attacking her in a kind way. You know, in a kind, funny way. He's But he's, like, telling her, that, you know, what you got is garbage, you know. You didn't spend enough money on that. You got some some Italian hitman with some people locked in the garage making these CDs and shit. You know, he's fucking going on and on. You know, God forbid she enjoys her fucking moment of something that she enjoys, you know, which is these compilation CDs, which I love compilation CDs myself. I just love, you know, sometimes you don't know what you're going to listen to, so you throw compilation on. Just let it play. It's a CD. Relax. You know, she didn't go out and spend, a, you know, 150 bucks on a fucking Toad Poet. So what? Get over it. Nobody was defending poor Rachel. Nobody. There was nobody over there defending Rachel. She, there was this other guy on there. I can't even remember the guy's name. He changes his name all the time. Um, I think his channel's called The Vinyl Community. Or wait. It's uh, Community College Jazz Master or something. I don't know. It's something like that. But he's this bald guy. He's always changing his name. He's got this fucking ego. He thinks he's smarter than the fucking world and all this shit. 
Maybe he is. Maybe the guy's a fucking genius. Maybe he just needs to grow a set of fucking balls. I don't know. I mean, maybe he is fucking a genius. But, you know, the wax just sit there trashing poor Rachel for these compilation CDs. And then this other guy, the community jazz master, you know, college community jazz master, he's over there, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. There's a guy making them in a garage. <laughs> you know, the, he's so intelligent, you know, that's how he talks. <laughs> you know, it's pathetic. And I just couldn't handle it no more. I said, the czar needs to speak. Get these guys straight down. So I was like, you know what? And I just commented. I said, Rachel, you're absolutely right. And the wax is dead wrong, you know, for him trashing her like that, you know? You know, and, it, and here's where I'm going with this. Okay, here's where I'm going with this. People have had enough with this wax guy, okay? They have had it up to their ears. I mean, I was looking at people over there today. I don't even know who these people were. And I'm, I'm, I'll am bet you a million bucks that a lot of these people, they don't go over there anymore because they can't stand looking at this wax running his mouth all the day, you know, trying to tell people how to live their lives. You know, it's just this, I mean, who likes egos, man? It's just like fucking let Rachel enjoy her fucking CD and shut the fuck up, man. How about say something kind, man? Say wonderful, man. Why don't you put the CD on? Let's hear what's on it. You know what? No, no, none of that bullshit. None of that. So here we go. Here's the thing. Rachel, it's time to pop the zit on your ass. This fucking guy, this waxed, it's time for him to go bye-bye, okay? You know, he's he's your next pimple. You know, this last guy you had, you know, you put up with him for so long, and he took, you know, kind of held you back, you know? But it's time to cut this pimple loose off your ass, wipe it off with a little tissue paper, throw it in the fucking toilet, and flush it, and move on, because nobody with any type of class is going to be on there with this fucking guy. You know, I mean, this guy's a fucking parasite. You know, every time I turn on a live stream, you know, go over to, a, you know, go over to a Patrick's live stream, and there's the wax. You go over to Massey's live stream, there's the wax. You know, and this guy, what does he do for a fucking living? I mean, does he got his mom locked in, you know, his mom's dead corpse locked in the closet, and he's collecting her fucking social security still? I don't know. What does this guy do for a living, man? You can't be on all the fucking live streams all the fucking time. You know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, 12 in the afternoon. He's on all the fucking live streams. What do you do for a fucking living? Don't tell me it's work, because you don't fucking work, dude. You don't fucking work. It's, it's obvious. You don't work. What you are, you're bringing people down, you know, and the czar is giving Rachel permission to fucking pop that zit on her ass, and it's time for him to go. And it's okay, Rachel. It's okay. Brother Brian's here for you. We're going to support you. You guys, leave comments below. Support Rachel. You know, let her know what this guy's done to you, man. Let her know how you feel about this guy. You know, that I'm not the only one. There's plenty of people in the vital community that can't stand this guy, man. We're sick of seeing him, man. Maybe bring him on once every three or four months, you know, but not every single time. Please. It's time to what melt the fucking wax, baby. Brother Brian's out of here. Nothing but love. I appreciate you hanging out with me.